Now we will look at both of these uh, institutions in little more detail. First let us look at family. Of all, all the ashram, this is considered the most important because it supports all other ashrams. It is said that like all creatures live supported by the air, the other ashrams exist supported by the grihastra. Like all the streams and rivers flow to rest in the ocean, all the ashrams flow to rest in the grihastra. And these shlokas are uttered by Shiva himself in one of the text. If you want to know more about it, you can uh, visit this website which is which contains all the references which are being quoted here. Brahmachari grahasthascha vanaprastho yatistatha ete grahastha prabhascha twarha prathagashrama. So, it conveys this idea of uh, grahastha being the source and the foundation and the support system of all other ashram. It also says yatha vayu samashtita vartante sarvajantava as air take cares of all the creatures tatha grahastham ashritya vartante sarva ashrama. In this way grahastha ashram takes care of all the ashrams. So, greatness of grihastha ashram is described in the conversation between Uma and Shankara himself occurring in the Anushvasana Parva of Mahabharata. And Shankara begins his answer to Uma queries with the unequivocal assertion that of all the ashramas, this is the state of grihastha ashrama. So, this is reflected uh, this is conveyed in this picture of fractal. Family is the unit of society. Family takes care of the society. Society and family are not in struggle with each other. Family is constituting unit of society and in so many sanskars including uh, in, in all the sanskars and all the sanskars, the role of family is established and that ensures harmony in the family and responsible behavior of family to take care of the society. So, towards the end of this session, uh, what are the points of reflection and action? We looked at in this session, sanskara and yajnas as the positive events. We look at in the form of both of these events that there is a great recognition of the connection or integration of micro and macro. Macro is sustained by micro like family is sustained by a society and micro is constituent of macro. So, there is a mutuality in all uh, uh, social and human life forms. That recognition is there. Arising from this recognition is the value of responsibility. Responsibility is a very important value because that is the basis on which we ensure that different members of the community and even whole ecosystem contribute to each other's growth. So, value of responsibility and yajnas and sanskaras are ways of developing a more integral consciousness and that integral consciousness naturally result into responsible behavior. And third point of reflection is that different life events can be integral in nature there are ways to create positive events which takes care of all major objectives of life which are related to materialistic objective or hedonistic objective, hedonistic pleasure, eudaimonic pleasure as well as transcendental or spiritual pleasure. So, all three aspects of 
uh, happiness and all three aspects of self can be integrated in the positive events and these kind of positive events are described in great detail in the yogic tradition.